Hello, I'm Zanolif. Welcome to my new Let's Play, Let's Play Factorio. Factorio is a sandbox survival game. You build factories, as you could have guessed from the name. And you have to survive alien attacks. Let's get started. This map is acceptable. There are seven resources in this game. Stone, coal, iron, copper, wood, oil and water. You start with enough resources to make yourself some iron tools and one low tier miner and smelter. Both of those run on fuel, which is why I'm chopping down trees right now. And the most important resource in the early game is far and away iron. So we'll be making a few more miners to put on the iron. And our next goal after that is to get some research going, because this game has a sort of tech tree, as you can see here. The red stuff we can't research yet, the yellow stuff, sort of yellow stuff, we can research, and once we have completed something it will show up on the bottom here as green. So there are a few techs we want to get, like automation, which gives us assembling machines, which allow us to craft stuff automatically so we don't have to do it ourselves the stone we need for more furnaces and for more miners One thing I really like about this game is that prerequisite materials are added to the crafting queue automatically, so you just have to click on what you want and it is all taken care of. Let's see if we can find some coal, so I don't have to spend as much time chopping trees. There's a small field there, a small field there. Okay, it's here. That's close enough. If you can see the yellow arrows, that's where the output is, and stuff gets put there automatically. And since miners can use coal as fuel, if I put two coal miners facing into each other down, they'll supply each other with fuel. And they have a storage capacity of 50, so they'll work without any supervision until they're full. Give those miners some more fuel. And we might want to automate at least one stone miner 
so we don't have to get this stone manually. And let it deposit into a wooden chest. Alright. Let's start automation for the assembling machines. Well, I say let's start. You have to build a research lab and supply it with so-called research packs, which are these things here. You can craft them manually, but I don't want to. That's why I'm researching automation. The thing is, we do require some copper to get started. Not much, but a little. Let's steal some wood from the furnaces because they require fuel at a slower rate than the miners. Let's see how much is it. It displays you the total raw materials you need. So 15 copper for a research lab. And we'll need another 10 I think. Yeah, another 10 to build us 10 red science packs. So, we'll need 15 copper. Uh, 25, I mean. Well, while that is working, let's get some coal. <laughs> the running animation looks silly. This game is in fairly early alpha, by the way. So, little of what you see right now is finished. Okay, one science lab coming up. Soon. <laughs> Since science labs require electricity, I'll also have to build a steam engine. Which was very quick, because of the aforementioned automatically queuing up prerequisite items. I love it so much. We need some wood to make electrical poles. One science lab and ten science packs coming up. Now we play the waiting game. While the crafting queue gets done, I suppose I can chop some more trees. We have to supply this boiler with fuel, so it actually works. We are going to want to switch to electric miners very soon. And for that we need a larger electrical generator setup. Which, since our boilers need coal, or rather they need fuel, and coal is the most convenient source of fuel, we'll want to do it next to water and coal. Which we could do here or here. But I'm going to go with here because it's a larger coal field. Oh. 
Oops. Not what I meant to click. Most machines in this game produce pollution, which is what makes aliens very, very angry. So if you look on the map, I can toggle the display and the orange overlay you see is the area the pollution reaches. Trees help a lot against pollution because they absorb it. They don't absorb it all though, so it still get, gets past them. And automation almost done. And the question is of what to research next? Yeah, I suppose logistics because we want underground belts. So let's build a few assembling machines and we'll have those build our red science packs. Well, while they're getting crafted I'll go get more coal. I think we're only the third one actually. We'll also need a few inserters. All right. Set this to red science packs. Just manually put in the copper for now. Hmm. Or what I could do. If it reaches, I'm not sure if it does. It should. Well, just have place it one further back. All right. One five here, fourteen here, fine. And we're going to need some of those. Ah, damn. The supply area of those is so tiny. Luckily we'll get to research better ones in the future. Shall make this much less of an issue. So, gears here, and we'll want to just supply this with iron manually, that's fine. Alright, now this is done. How much stone do we have? Well, that's actually quite enough for the start. The next time we'll need some more is for better furnaces. But... Until then we'll have electricity and we can set up a small automated area for stone that we don't have to refuel manually. Because that's also something that I want, don't want to do in the future. How many materials do I have? I need 
some copper from the offshore pump, but I guess I don't have to build a new second one. It's fine if I don't. Okay, you need 13 or 14 boilers per 10 steam engines and 10 steam engines per one offshore pump. So I've queued up 14 more boilers, so when we move this, after we've done some research to the final position of where we want our power generation to be, we'll have 14. And 6 more, so I'm going to need 3 more. What do I need? 20 iron. So this just requires iron, so very simple to build. Enough for 12 more science packs here. Just walking around, waiting for stuff to get done. Well, I suppose I... ...could set up something useful in the meantime. While I'm waiting. That is automated transport belt production. We're going to need another inserter. Alright, what's the ratio? It's two iron plates per gear wheel, so... It's actually three iron for two transport belts, right. So, I have five. Oh, that's not much. Alright, if I put 14 here, 7 here, so there is no overflow. Right, I'll also need some pipe to get around. Because I want to set up the start of our main power generation. Well, start mining here. Suppose I could have power going in a line like this, or I could have it go upwards. Let's do it from right to left, that's fine. Right, the pump would be about here. And then, oh, great, it's done. I suppose we want some guns to defend ourselves. And I guess it's time for a short break. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video.